I thought Girls School Screamers from 1985 had everything it needed to be a horror hidden gem. It's a mid-80s slasher, so that alone gets me all excited inside. It's written and directed by John Finnegan, who later wrote the movie Blades, which was a Jaws ripoff, but instead of an ocean, it takes place on a golf course. And instead of a killer shark, there's a killer lawnmower on the loose. Okay, movie, that's awesome. Girl School Screamers was distributed by the crazy balls to the walls folks at Trauma Entertainment. And it has this amazing poster. This poster screams fun. Even though it had so much going for it, I unfortunately didn't love Girl School Screamers. But how could it go wrong? Let's find out together. Welcome to the Hellbound Horror Show. So, if you're new to this channel, this is the point of the review that I usually dedicate a rather large portion talking about the story while avoiding spoilers, but in this case, in this case, the plot synopsis is gonna fly by. Not much happens in Girl School Screamers, but I will admit this. The opening sequence is the best part of the film. A little boy is verbally harassed by bullies and is dared to go into the old haunted house. What's the matter? You chicken? <laughs> All right, I'll go in. I'll show you guys who's chicken. The boy travels his way up to the attic where he is slowly encouraged by a ghostly bride. While he approaches, the ghost takes off the veil. <laughs> and a gooey, gross skull laughs in his face. I love this look. It's creepy, tangible, and goopy. It's all the stuff that gets me going. The kid runs to his friends, but is basically in shock. He has to stay in the hospital as he's in a fear-induced coma. You would think with an opening like that that this movie's gonna rock, but unfortunately, it's only downhill from here. We meet our all-female cast at a Christian school. They are tasked with going to the haunted building from the opening to sort all the art within, as the school just acquired this property. A nun is their chaperone, and together, they go to the house. While cleaning, our lead girl finds a diary and reads about how the owner of the house tried to marry his niece. Yikes! Well, it turns out that our main girl looks exactly like his niece. Double yikes! Almost an hour into the 86 minute movie, the girls start getting picked off one by one. Who is killing the girls? What happened to the owner of the house? And who cares? Listen, I love bad movies. I love schlock, but Girl School Screamers just didn't do it for me. Now, before I bash the movie, I do want to give it some props. Girl School Screamers is a good looking movie. It was shot on 35mm, it was lit well, the cinematography is fine. It looks really good, well beyond just being competent. The movie was made with just $100,000, which is absurd to think about. Even in 1984, that was super cheap. Writer-director John Finnegan actually found NYU film students fresh out of college who helped to work on his movie for free. I mean, these kids were right out of school and they got to have huge roles, responsibilities, and creative say on a feature length movie shot on 35 millimeter. It was a dream come true for the students. The music is also pretty good. It's haunting and melodic. I also enjoy the little bit of gore that we do get. I mentioned the decaying skeleton from the opening sequence, but there's also a pretty fun electrocution. <laughs> Speaking of the gore, that leads directly into the bad. So let's get into it. Yeah, I like the gore, but there's only about 28 seconds of violence in the whole movie. Yeah, 28 seconds of violence in a movie where college kids get picked off one by one. Originally, there was going to be no violence or gore. It was going to be a slow, Hitchcockian-esque thriller, but once Troma became the distributor of the film, Troma filmed and added some gore and violence into the movie. It's only 28 seconds worth, but at least it's something. Listen, I don't need gore or violence in a horror movie, but in this case, I do think it helped. I need to be entertained when I'm watching a horror movie. I can be entertained through engaging story, interesting characters, or even atmosphere, but if a movie doesn't have any of that, then it better at least have, you know, something happening throughout the movie. Shit. 
Girl School Screamers fails at all of that. For almost 50 minutes, nothing really happens. Having the main character resemble an old person and have their lives parallel in a way is a tire trope and literally does nothing for me. All I could think of was how wonderful my summer was going to be. You'll have a marvelous time. They could have paced out the kills better. Having all six to eight people die in the last 30 minutes wasn't very impactful. And the worst part was that our lead girl, who's supposed to be a leader, who's supposed to be capable, recognized that everyone was going missing, but kept sending her friends on a mission to find the missing people, but doing so one at a time. She was sending these people to their doom, waiting 20 minutes, getting worried that they didn't come back and sending one more person out alone to go look for everyone else. It honestly felt like a parody. I wanted to really like this movie, and honestly, I don't hate it or anything. I could be to blame though for my disappointment. I had high expectations going into this one. With a title like Girl School Screamers and a poster like that, I thought I was getting a goofy, fun slasher, but that's not what we got at all. I just wish some things were changed. Either go all in on the gothic ghost story, or go all in on the coeds getting slashed up. It's such an awkward, bumbling blend that didn't appeal to me. The cool thing about movies is that they can appeal to different people. So even though Girl School Screamers didn't do it for me, it may interest you. I mean, for a $100,000 movie, it looks great and it does a lot of things really well. So check it out if it looks like your cup of tea. And that's all I have for tonight. So thank you so much for watching and stay spooky, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoy this content and want to support the channel, please consider subscribing or by buying me a coffee in the description below. Any little bit helps. Thank you. Bye.